up you guys you're watching Sergio Secrets before I get started with today's fun and exciting video if you can please give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button I'm almost at 15,000 subscribers so it would definitely mean a lot to me if you can go ahead and click that subscribe button well maybe by the time this video will go up live on my channel we may have already hit 50 subscribers which I'm so happy that you know my channel little by little is you know becoming the channel that I always wanted it to be and I've been doing video requests and I've been doing filming a video every single day until further notice so if you guys have any video requests definitely leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to be filming those videos for you and today's video requested was Sergio, I want to hear your thoughts on designer belts. Are they worth the money? Are they not worth the money? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you don't? What are your plans on designer belts? I just want to hear your overall thoughts and opinions on designer belts. So, you know, I think this is such a great question. I think this is such a great video request because I do get a lot of questions asked about belts and if they're worth the money, if they're not worth the money. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my designer belts that I own. I own three and then I'll go ahead and start kind of unraveling and talking about belts throughout the video. First belt that I have is from Dior. It is from the men's Dior line. I got this one about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. And yeah, so it, it it's like this. It is this um, Dior monogram throughout the entire belt and it has the kind of original Christian Dior logo and it is also reversible meaning you just pop it out like this in a mala pones así and as you can see voila <laughs> now you have a black leather belt that says Christian Dior on it so this is the first one and this one's in a size 85 I believe all my belts are going to be in the size 85 I only have three so this is the one that I have it's the Dior one this one that I have is from Hermes this is my only Hermes item that I have in my collection I got this one in August, so this one I have had for quite a while, not quite a while, but I've had it for a couple of months, and yeah, and this one's 85, this one is in the smooth black leather with the palladium H belt, as you can see it has been quite scratched even though I haven't even worn it that much, into this kind of classic brown and grain leather that has this really pretty white stitching throughout the entire belt. The other belt that I have. And then the last belt that I own, this one, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce the brand of this, but it is called Zenga. I've always had such a hard time pronouncing the brand of this, but um, I'll leave the links for everything if I can find them down below. But yeah, so I own three designer belts, right? And honestly, can you guess which one I wear the most? Can we honestly guess which one? <laughs> this one. I wear this one most out of the Hermes and the Dior belt. And I'm gonna be telling you right from the get-go, in my opinion, I don't think designer belts are worth the money or it's something that you should be purchasing as one of your first purchases. I know a lot of people say that it should be one of your first purchases. I kind of disagree um, throughout my opinion. Now, if your lifestyle is a little bit different and certain items, then maybe, yeah, a belt may be a great purchase, maybe one of your top five picks to make in the beginning. But for me, um, I don't think they're worth as one of your first items definitely I think you should have designer belts to complement your collection but I don't think it should be something you should be going out and about just kind of buying belts 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 you only really need a few and that's how I feel about small leather good to have a video about are small leather goods worth the money which I will leave linked down below I think it is worth the watch but yeah so I'm gonna be telling you why I have three belts right Dior Hermes the Zynga belt and the reason why I don't really wear my Hermes belt a lot, and I only keep in mind it is scratch, but I have only worn it in ha a handful of times. Uh, the reason why this is scratch is because this hardware is really easily scratched. So anywhere where I put it on, it kind of dings on everything. So that's the only reason. But I have only I promise you I've only worn this about ten times, and this this belt was really expensive. It was about a thousand one hundred dollars, which is insane and honestly if I could go back in time I would probably would have not purchased this belt um I don't think it was worth me spending this right now in my collection there was definitely other things that I could have prioritized versus this belt so why I don't really care for belts or why I always reach for this one and why I don't really recommend getting a lot of designer belts is because they clash with a lot of items let me go ahead and give you an example so let's say I want, let's see what bag I want to wear. Louis Vuitton multi push accessories, right? I'm wearing a simple outfit. I'm wearing a black kind of um, zip up from a good man brand. I'll leave it linked down below. And so, yeah, so I'm going to be wearing this multi pochette. So I put it on, right? I put it on. They, you know, I have my little watch right here and my little bracelet. So I kind of show that out. And let's say I'll wear these 
Givenchy kind of sneakers, right? So I'm wearing this, this, a black outfit with black zip up, and I'm gonna be wearing my Dior belt with the black leather. See how this outfit clashes? You know what I mean? This outfit does not go together. It's just so much branding all in once. You have a monogram bag, you have a Dior belt, you have Givenchy shoes. It kind of all clashes. Or even, let's say, Sergio, you're wearing, you know, different brands. So, okay, so let's say if I take this off, right? This Louis Vuitton bag that has monogram 04, let's say, the Prada one. It still kind of clashes. They're two different brands. It just comes across as a little bit too try hard, a little bit too much locally, and a little bit too much going on. Keep in mind, I'm wearing a Prada bag, a belt, and some shoes that have like a logo that's all kind of out there. And keep in mind, I'm not even including my sunglasses or any other necklace or earrings that I may wear. So they kind of clash, guys. They kind of clash, and this is why I don't really wear my belts, you know what I mean? If I want to have that one or two designer accessories that I want them to speak out for them to be the conversation starter, I definitely will prefer it to be one of my handbags, you know what I mean? If I rather, if I'm going to be wearing something that's a brand, let's say I'm wearing a simple outfit like this zip up, these blue jeans, and this, you know what I mean? This is going to be kind of my conversation starter. This is going to be the thing that has, you know, the branding on it. Nothing else in my outfit has branding, maybe the shoes that I may wear, but for the most part, I may be wearing like black simple you know booties or maybe like a little loafer yes these are gucci but they're it's not it's more minimal looking you know what i mean and so therefore i just feel like for me designer belts i don't think they're worth the money because um or i don't think there's something you should be prioritizing in the beginning because i mean i don't know for me i'm a handbag lover i'm a shoe lover and i'm a sunglass lover and jewelry lover before a belt lover i love boats i like them i like the Zenga belt that i really have I just feel like you shouldn't really be buying a lot of these different belts because I think they clash. I mean, I see people wear the Gucci belt, then a Chanel bag, then all this like jewelry, and then they have some, you know, some very branded shoes. Let's say like Chanel trainers, and have like a Chanel handbag, a Gucci belt, and then some Louis Vuitton sneakers. I just think it, it's a little bit too much, and let's say you wear a Gucci shirt. I just think it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too try hard. And for me, that's why I don't really like to clash a lot of logos. That's why I do like more minimal clothing. That's why I go for brands like Vince and Theory and Veronica Beard that are more kind of contemporary brands. Because for me, I like more of my accessories to speak, but I also don't want my accessories to overshadow me and that uh, people look more on my brand and what I'm wearing more than my face more than my personality if you know what I mean because sometimes I can kind of overshadow so for me I just don't know I, I see the points and belts like if you have a Christian Dior bag you know I have a the Dior book tour right here Dior saddle bag right here and you know I can wear that belt you know what I mean with the book toe and with the belt because the book toe doesn't have any um, hardware on it so I feel like it kind of complements it only time I can see myself wearing it, but I just think, I just don't like a lot of logo clashings. I try to be a little bit more minimal, I try to pick and choose what I wear for my brandings, and that's why I'm trying to stick more towards, like, the same kind of brands, because I'm already kind of investing, you know, my heart and money, I'm investing time, I'm investing space in my closet for these items, so I think going forward, I definitely do kind of see myself, you know, if I'm investing in a brand like Coach or Dior or Givenchy, I kind of want to build those pieces so they all kind of go in together, kind of like a little ecosystem versus them being all out and about. Now, I'm all here for different brands, you know what I mean, sunglasses and stuff, but there's like a way to do it tastefully and nicely. But um, for me, I found that right look. Um, you know, I just, I don't think that belts are something that you should be purchasing in the beginning as far as designer. I know they say a belt elevates any outfit, a belt can pull any outfit. That's what I thought, guys, when I went to buy my Hermes belt. I said, oh my god, this is going to be a, such a game changer for all of my outfits, my simple outfits, my belt. But that's not the game changer. For me, I find that my shoes, something that I wear, or my handbag, are more of the game changers, you know what I mean? And also, if you wear like a really crazy belt, let's say like the Hermes belt, or a Gucci Marmont belt, or a Ferragamo belt that's really like a Burberry print. Um, it kind of gets old very quickly, and it just, I just don't see the value in it to be one of your first purchases or to buy a lot of belts. For me, I think you should have more cleaner, more minimal belts. For me, if I were to buy another designer belt that I would prefer, I would probably end up going for the Tom Ford one. I may just even go for a simple leather one that I can honestly buy, uh, that I can honestly buy 
at like Nordstrom Rack or um, you know an off price retailer just a simple black belt a simple brown belt and I think that will do my outfit a lot more better than to be just adding another logo into my outfit um, that doesn't mean I won't be buying any more designer belts there are some brands of belts that I do want to have I do see myself having you know a, maybe a Chanel CC belt that's something that I've always kind of wanted maybe I see myself buying you know under brands from belts but I'm going to be more considerate and I'm going to be seeing how much wear or you know or at least acknowledge that I may not get the wear out of it that I'm more buying it just to kind of wear one occasion but like I said I really haven't been wearing my Dior belt I've only worn it probably five times my Hermes belt I've probably only worn it ten times I use that Zynga belt a lot more so I don't know I think this is kind of like I don't know, I see different types of videos and opinions on belts. Some people say that they do make the statement. Honestly, I just rather have a simple belt. For me, like I said, I love my handbag to speak, but I can also see if you're a guy and you don't really necessarily wear bags and you know you tend to wear more simple outfits, then I can see the value in it. But for me, since I do wear bags and I do wear more branded, a little bit more jewelry, or maybe like a coat, I rather let those be the statements than my belt. I don't know, I hope you guys this gives you kind of like a different output on designer belts. Like, I like them, I appreciate them. There, A lot of them are really nice out there, but I just feel like... I just feel like it's not the hype that people make it seem like, oh my god, you have to have a Gucci Marmont belt, you have to have a Ferragamo belt, you have to have a Givenchy belt. I think people talk about belts a little bit too much, um, you know, and I think more minimal and more classic is going to be better. It's better to look more clean and more presentable than to be having all these different brands because it, for me, I mean, I used to wear a lot more branded items and for me, when I would wear it, I think, um, I don't know what's that saying that people say, but the loudest people in the room are the most insecure, if you know what I mean. And then the people that are just more simple are the ones that are or that are more quiet or that are more, you know, simple are going to be the most confident. I don't know if that's true, guys. I think as I'm kind of growing up, I do notice that, that the loudest people, the ones that have the most to say or the ones that kind of, you know, are the loudest, you know, as far as maybe wearing a full different monograms or different outfits tend to be the most insecure and I notice that so for me I kind of reflect that on my style where you know I like to wear I may wear you know Montclair jacket I may wear you know a Givenchy trench coat that has the little buttons but I like to go about it more um, a more of a ladylike or more of a gentleman type of route versus it being so in your face and so kind of all, all out there so I don't know guys I would definitely love to hear your opinions down below this is what I feel about belts I feel like you know I can see different aspects I can see different views but for me personally if I were to go back in time I would have not purchased the Hermes belt and I would have not purchased the Dior belt honestly I would have just bought another belt like the Zenga one like under $200 I think I got that one on sale like years ago and I would have just added another one just having a rotation and I would just call it a day Oh, there's like some coach belts that don't have like the CCs on it or anything. It's just like a simple black belt. Probably one of those would have done more wonders than the ones that I have. Because now I spent, you know, 1100 on the Hermes belt. Um, 450 or 550 on the Christian Dior belt. So eight, almost $1,800 with tax kind of just like sitting here. And, you know, I just felt like I should have been a little bit more careful. And like I said, I was, I was thinking like how I see other people talk about like, Belt are a game changer. Belt, belt elevates any outfit. Belt does this. Belt does that. And for me, I just don't see it, and I don't really see the value in it. And also, I don't know if it is too because I am wearing black, <laughs> a black top. But my challenge area tends to be more of my stomach. So I also may not want, you know, to wear a belt here, and then people kind of look right here. I don't know. Maybe that's just something else that I have kind of like going on through myself. That you know, maybe if I if I am a little bit more heavy chested in the front you know I mean I may be a little bit more bigger you know I don't want to draw attention in this area because these are my challenge areas this is where you know I may not feel the most confident I would much rather let like a shoe a handbag jewelry or something else kind of talk you know what I mean talk for me than my belt I don't know I also thought about that too and I, and I do see myself where you know this is a challenge area and I don't necessarily like to draw attention that's why I do wear a lot more third pieces just so it doesn't necessarily draw a lot of attention here just because this is one of my challenge areas I know I've been getting asked what are belts what are my thoughts on different logos and brands of belts so that being said I will give you my opinion on some of the belts in my opinion I feel like the Gucci Marmont belt I think it's had its day a lot of people have it there's a lot of replicas out there I I had the I got a really big thick one for Christmas and I ended up returning it 
I just feel like the Gucci Mane mount belt has had its day. I think Gucci Mane mount has definitely had its day in general. I would be making a video about like stuff that I think has had its day and you know, that's my opinion on the Gucci Marmont belt. Now I do like other Gucci belts. Biggest fan of the OG Gucci interlocking as well. I'm just not the big brand of the GG belts unless your initials are GG. I, I don't know, I just don't really care for the Gucci belts. I like the simple Gucci belts. Um, I don't mind like the embossed Gucci leather ones that are just more a little bit more simple. I'll kind of insert pictures so you guys know what I mean. Um, there are some Gucci belts that I do like. I just don't like the ones that say GG on the top. Um, as far I like the Tom Ford belt, I think those are very clean, minimal, super elevated. I like the Hermes belts that don't necessarily have the H, but you can kind of tell that they're Hermes belts. Um, I do like Ferragamo belts. I know I was talking about like, you know, they kind of clash. Um, I don't know something. If I were to buy another logo belt, it'd probably be a Ferragamo. And if I want more of a minimal, that's more designer. I would definitely go for the Tom Ford one. But for me, um, I do like the Ferragamo ones. I think they're very clean. And the Givenchy belts are also really pretty because they have kind of like that GV3 kind of belt buckle. But they're not as loud and they're not so is in your face. Kind of my taste, uh, the only ones that I really don't like are the Gucci Marmont. I don't really like the locally ones, like the monogram ones, the MC monogram ones, like the Michael Kors, the Coach monograms. Like the monogram ones, I don't really like. There's very few monograms that I like. Dior monogram is probably the one that I like the most. But any other monogram, I just personally don't really care for. Or the Burberry checkered print logo belt. Um, I, per I wouldn't buy that one myself just because it's a little bit too much going on. And yeah, guys, those would be kind of my thoughts, my opinions about designer belts. At the end of the day, do I think they're worth the money? Uh, and to each its own. But for me, I find more value in my collection, in my wardrobe, more of having belts that are a little bit more minimal, like that Zynga belt. Designer handbags speak, or just not even designer, just my regular handbags speak. More of my shoes speak, um, you know, um, stuff like that to speak a little bit more. And I like that to be kind of my wow piece versus it being a belt. But yeah, guys, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts, your opinions down below. It's kind of a controversial kind of topic. Like I said, I see a lot of people always saying go, 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 go for belts. And I see a lot of people don't go for belts. So I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below. Like I said, I much rather have like um, a simple kind of like rag and bone belt or a belt that you can get like at a department store that's very simple, clean cut, classic. Or even like the Rebecca Minkoff belts or the Altings belts are really nice. Um, I'll leave some belts that I do like under $100 that are on sale down below if you're just interested to see which ones I would like. Um, but yeah, I would most most likely go for those into more, more of the bigger logo ones. Like I said, I'd much rather let other pieces speak for me than my belts. So yeah, I would definitely love to hear your opinions down below, your thoughts. Um, I definitely, I'm just kind of curious what you guys will think down below because I can see different aspects of it. But yeah, we'll keep that conversation going down below. I, I will promise and try to reply to all you guys down below. So feel free to leave all your comments and your thoughts down below. Leave all my social media links down below as well. And make sure to subscribe so we can go ahead and hit 15,000 subscribers. It will mean so much to me. It does mean no sense of the video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.